guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is jessica and i created dolled up by jay so currently obviously you can see i have a very unique background this is the beautiful indian ocean i am filming this from the maldives and today i have a beauty review i haven't done a beauty review in a while but i have this new morphe lip kit from sephora i wanted to share with you guys my overall first impressions and thoughts on how the lip products perform this kit is super affordable i think it was like 23 or 25 dollars for three full-size products which is like incredible for sephora there's a little bit of background noise at the moment because our neighbors just arrived and there's like a family of kids so if you hear the noise it's just them enjoying their vacation how rude i know today's beverage is italian rose cheers ah child proof so the lip kit basically consists of a full-size lip pencil a full-size lip gloss and a full-size lipstick and it has all of the new morphe branding which i think is super super cute i love their new font it definitely is more representative where their brand is going a little bit less old school a little bit more kind of chic and fun and cool for social media i forget what the exact shade of the lip kit that I bought is, I think they've got about three or four different kinds. So I will insert the name right here once I figure that out and then I'll link it all below for you as well. So first of all, I have the lip pencil here called Backseat Love, love that shade name. So I'm gonna first basically apply the lip pencil, give you my thoughts, the lipstick over top and then the lip gloss and then we'll just do an overall little review. So the lip pencil comes like this. It has a pretty fine looking tip, but I honestly expect it to be a little bit more fine it's kind of like flat on the edge. That is gliding nicely so far. So far it's not sticking, it's not super super dry, it's not like pulling my lips. I hate when a formula is so dry that it like pulls your lips and you like pull some of your skin off. That's never fun. Makeup Forever and Charlotte Tilbury, I'm looking at you. Okay, so for the lip liner so far, that is feeling nice. The liner doesn't feel like it is pulling, although I do find that I really had to go over it like two times to get the good color payoff, like the full pigmentation. Like it could be a little bit more pigmented to be honest with you. I do think that it looks nice, but to get the full payoff I had to go over twice, which if you're in a hurry could be a little bit annoying. Next for the lipstick, it's called Matte Eye Matte wifey it's kind of a weird shade matte eye matte wifey i have no idea so that's what it looks like in the tube just like a nice nude i have used it once before just fyi this is an entirely first impressions so it's honestly a perfect color combination with the lip liner together it's like the perfect match honestly surprised they didn't just call this lipstick backseat love as well because it's like literally it's identical twin soul sister so honestly you could literally leave this look like this i think for me right now because i do have a tan it's a little bit a little bit pale on me for what i prefer for my skin tone right now because of the tan and the makeup i'm wearing but it is still a really pretty just like basic nude Okay, and lastly is the lip gloss. This is in the shade Pop, and it is this nice pink. And I've never tried this, it's like totally clean. So take that out, the applicator is kind of like average sized. Not really tiny, not as tiny as like the Dior, for example, uh, lip maximizer, but not as big as other glosses I own. So even in the tube, this definitely looks more pinky than the lipstick which is actually good because i do want something that's a little more warm okay so that is with the lip gloss on that was just the one dab with the lip gloss i think that's honestly sufficient i don't think i would need to go in for more than that it feels really nice it feels good now that the gloss is on i do really like how the color turned out i think it's really flattering and it's a pretty color so yeah overall i think that this is a really nice set what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna take the next couple hours and film some more videos and then i'm gonna give you guys my final thoughts on what i think about this you know based on how it's wearing how it's feeling the scents and all that and so i'm just gonna hop off for a little while and come back on and give you my final thoughts okay guys so it's been a couple hours i've been filming i obviously did a little bit of an outfit change because i've been doing a couple of different videos all batched today i did slightly change up my lip products as well just a slightly different i did my gucci lipstick and then my buxom gloss on top but that overall lip combo it did last pretty well i want to say like it wiped off really easily which was nice it wasn't too bad in between videos like i didn't feel like it was completely losing its color but i just like to kind of change up my looks a little bit throughout different videos overall for the price the fact that you get three full-size products and the color payoff was really nice i do think that is a great budget set to try i honestly wasn't like completely wowed and blown away the formula of the lipstick could be a little bit 
richer, a tiny bit thicker, maybe a little creamier even. For matte lipstick and for a low price, it was honestly no complaints. It was pretty good. And the lip liner was just okay. Honestly, I prefer my Milani from the drugstore. It's like $6. It is so creamy and so pigmented and you really don't need to like go over it a million times to see the color payoff and like the line between your skin and your lip and make sure you've filled it in. The gloss itself was honestly okay. It was kind of just like a standard generic like affordable gloss formula. It wasn't like very thick. It wasn't juicy. None of the products really had a good scent. They didn't really smell like anything. I do appreciate like a fun like cupcakey scent in my lip stuff but for the price overall, the color, the fact that you get three products again, it was a good buy so um, recommend it in that sense but I probably won't rush to buy another set but I'm happy with them and if I need like a quick nude color combo to run out the door with then it's a good one. So in my books I'm not like oh my god it's amazing you need it but I'm also not like I feel like I wasted my money. So it's just okay. I'll use them. I'll use it up and when I'm done I probably will just move on to something else. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please be sure to give it a like and we'll see you in the next one.